Hello, my name is Barbara Takenaga. I'm here to give you a tour of my studio in New York City. I've lived and worked here for many years, but I was born and raised in North Platte, Nebraska. And I had uh, an amazing, wonderful art teacher in junior and senior high school, Larry Peterson, who, as some of you may know, is one of the founders of the Museum of Nebraska Art. So um, I have great affection for the state and the museum. Um, I definitely want to thank Larry for his encouragement into a life that's been very full and wonderful in terms of art. And let's get started. So this is a wall that's kind of a catch-all for small works. Um, they range from recent things to very old works from maybe 20 years ago. Um, there are postcards. You can see there's a little Fra Angelico angel and a Malay landscape. Um, I have some small four by six works on paper that I've used as sketches for larger works. And here is a view out my window, which is one of my favorite parts of my studio. So you can see the New York cityscape, as well as this little corner with my orchids that are blooming. Um, this Little Beauty was given to me by two of my Nebraska girlfriends from junior high, Rosie and Linda. Oh, <laughs> Rosie and Shawnee. And um, they sent them to me when I had an opening uh, here in New York at my gallery, DC Moore. Um, most of the paintings are not finished, but here are a few that are done. This is actually a painting from 2015 that I reworked recently. Um, I flipped it upside down and then the background was a flat red and I painted it um, out with these uh, concentric lines. The paint is iridescent acrylic. So you can see that the color actually flips a little bit as you move. I don't know if you can see that. Here's another one, and I'm really interested in using a structure. You can see they're very repetitive pattern-like uh, painting in terms of the process. Um, and I like using it reined in sometimes with these organic flows of paint that I, I have very little control over. Okay, some other work. This painting is close to finish. Um, you can see this little red chair, it's a tiny red chair, that I sit in sometimes and just stare at the paintings and wait for them to tell me what to do. I am interested in imagery that wants to s sit somewhere in between being recognizable and keeping its very abstract nature. So again, I'm painting around shapes and splotches of paint. Here are three small works. This one is called Swimmer. And I like uh, the fact that it's almost an island or a dirty iceberg or an animal, half submerged in water. There are a couple other paintings. Which brings me to this corner. These are my used paint cups. I've been collecting them for many years, thinking that I might make an installation or some sort of art piece out of them. 
but in the meantime they just continue to grow. Here's a view of a uh, long view of the studio or at least one end of it. And I can walk you by some of these works that are waiting to be finished, definitely in progress. This one, this painting is 60 by 70 inches and it has this wonderful green, atmospheric green background. Here's some of the surface. Which brings me to my studio table. Um, I got in the habit of just writing things down randomly. I listen to audible books or the radio or Spotify when I work. And I would just write things down. Um, I found that the table gets abraded, things disappear. I feel it's a little bit like a metaphor for memory. But I will show you two quotes here. Um, they're both from Hilary Mantel, her recent book. One says, the evening dove-like is circling itself to rest, and the other is, the king wears green velvet like a verdant lawn. Okay, I think that will do it. Oh, I always forget, we should say hello to Andy, the studio dog. Andy, Andy, hi. Andy turned 14 last week. Okay, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for listening and um, stay safe and goodbye from New York. <laughs>